Welcome to The Line Within Us, a podcast serving Christian men who are hungry to be the leaders God intends you to be. I'm your host, Chris Granger. Let's jump in. All right, guys, it's fun Friday time. I'm excited to be here with you. Let's get right into it, okay? So the scripture of the week this week is in the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, verse 21. So it's a short verse, guys. It says, be subject to one another out of reverence for Christ, okay? And now, go back. If you didn't listen to the Spiritual Kickoff episode that came out on Monday, so just two episodes back in your podcast feed, you'll find where I unpack this scripture at length to help you understand how you can simplify and apply it to your life. Because it's one thing just to have head knowledge of scripture. It's a whole other thing when you move it to your heart, and then that moves it to action. And guys, that's what the Spiritual Kickoff episodes are all about. And Monday through Friday, we do those in our community. So if you haven't taken a chance to join our, our Line Within Us community, That's a great reason to right there, just to have that little boost each and every day. So if you missed the conversation on Wednesday, we had a lot of fun with J.P. DeGantz, uh, just unpacking the whole idea of marriage, uh, sex, sex, what does that look like in a healthy marriage, uh, the challenges that come with single life, how how we should be ministering and, and doing all we can to equip and get ready the next generation so that they can have, uh, the, of the blessing that God promises and he provides with the covenant of marriage. So guys, it was just a really good conversation. It definitely was alarming to hear some of the stats and all the things that are going on out there. But his comment at the end really hit me. He said, he said, it only takes one generation of Christian marriage. He said, it changed the world. One generation. If we got this right and we prioritized and we got everything aligned the way God would des- desires and we, and we made honoring glorifying God, the priority in all we do, in our single life, in our married life, everything. Man, that's going to be such a big deal. He and said, I was just encouraged by by JP, the, the way he shared that. So hopefully you guys got a chance to go listen to that and uh, definitely check out his book, Game Game, okay? All right, so let's get into it. Fun Friday, we're going to have our tips, our health, wealth, and our self-tips. Health is how do we, we can be have stronger minds and bodies. Wealth is how can we ultimately be better stewards stewards of our finances and our careers. And the self-tip is how can we he grow said, he, as husbands and fathers, okay? Now, the health tip. This is a very practical one, guys. It's called the palm plan, okay? So I'm kind of, for you guys on YouTube, I'm holding my hand up and I'm, I'm cupping my palm. So a good tip for estimating the amount of carbs that you have per meal is to use the palm method, okay? Uh, so so this, what you do is you just say, okay, if I can put the amount of carbs into my palm, that's a good goal. So it usually equates to about a half a cup to one cup of carbs, uh, and that, that varies based on your size, okay? Again, we're not trying to give ultimately you know, uh, diet advice. We're just trying to use med sites, but it can help you have a visualization to maintain a balanced meal. Okay. Without overloading on carbs. And there's some diets out there and, and, and different types of restrictions where you just eliminate carbs. Okay. But the carbs bring you a lot of energy. You want to manage that energy effectively. You want to maintain a healthy diet. And this is just a good way to keep in mind. So if you have your, if you have a plate and you look at your palm and you look at the plate and it's massively bigger, right there may be a gap there there may be an opportunity to dial that back pull some of those carbs out replace it with the protein and make it just a healthier decision so again that palm method doctors talk about this a lot uh different types of of health experts out there i just wanted to share it with you guys in case you ever want to use that when you sit down at your meal okay all right now for your wealth tip i want the whole end game you know the way that jp and his book was was called end game i thought about end game investing Okay, now what does that mean for a Christian man? That means we need to prioritize that long-term goal over any short-term gra- uh, gratification. Okay, so if we know what our long-term financial de- objectives are, maybe that's retirement or, or getting debt out of our life or, or building up that, that solid emergency fund. If we know what the long-term goal is, that's going to help us make those, sac- those daily s- sacrifices that we need today in order to achieve that, that end goal. Maybe we need to start cutting some expenses, okay, and just being super diligent around managing our budget. And all this makes, I want a lot easier and more of an impact if you can have that end game strategy in mind, okay? I want, and, and too often the world's going to say, well, think about now, 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 me, 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 my, my, my. I'm encouraging want, you guys as a biblically minded steward of what God's given you. Have the end game investment mi- mindset strategy, okay? So just think about that. I'm not saying you have to go change everything today, but just let 
is that in-game strategy a part of, of your plan when you sit down and look at your investments, okay? All right, now, self-tip. How about this? An in-game husband strategy. So invest, that means that you should start investing in emotional intimacy items, not just tasks. Because you want to develop a deeper connection emotionally with your spouse rather than just checking any boxes. Because if you're just checking boxes in your marriage, eventually one day you go run out of boxes to check. So you have to be careful here. It means you need to prioritize meaningful conversations. You need to prioritize that quality time. You need to prioritize active kindness to strengthen your marriage. You know, you need to just prioritize just being together, right? And making that a big deal. Invest in your relationship with some intentionality if you really want this thing to last. Okay, because again, we don't, I don't want any listener out there for the line with Dennis to just have an okay marriage. I want you to have a phenomenal marriage, just a, a fantastic and incredible marriage, because that's what God decided to be. The evil one, lots of time comes and he takes it, he steals the joy and, and, the, and, and anything good, he just wants to steal, kill, and destroy. We know that, right? And he wants your marriage to fail. Don't, don't miss that for a second. So if you hear my voice and you're married right now and you are two Christians, Know this, the evil one wants your marriage to fail. He's going to stop at nothing to ensure that your marriage does fail. The question is, what are you going to do about it? Are we just going to sit idly by and let things happen? Or are you going to take a proactive stance and stand and fight and push back against the evil one? And that's my hope. That's my encouragement to you is to do the pushback. Be the guy who stand, who takes a firm stance and recognize that, you know what? There's going to be sometimes that the evil, the evil one wins, and he'll, he'll win these little battles in your marriage. And, okay, you got me that time, but you won't give me that way again, doggone it. And just recognize that and know that to be true. And lean in, right? So have that in-game mentality as a husband that you are in this for the long haul. You're not running away. You're not backing down. You're going to stand a fight. You're going to stand a fight with your spouse because it is worth it. And it's what God has designed. So think bigger, think a longer horizon, and focus on honor and glorifying Him. All right. So there are your three tips, guys. Your health, wealth, and your self tip. That health tip, use that palm plan. See if that works for you so, so far as the carbohydrates. Your wealth tip, start that in-game investing mindset. Really start thinking about the long term. And the self, -ter self tip is the in-game husband mindset. Start making those invest those investments in your emotional it's emotional intimacy daily okay so start making those deposits i'm telling you if you want a, a good return on, on on your marriage you got to deposit stuff in regularly okay now book of the week this week i'm holding it up right here for you guys that are watching on youtube but this is in game the church's strategic move to save faith and family in america so jp DeGans, as well as john van epp they wrote this book together Really enjoyed unpacking this with JP. Lots of stats in here, lots of, of, of good notes and research, fellas. Go back and check that out, uh, as well as just head over to his website, communio.org, to find more ways to connect with him, all right? So for our dad jokes this week, i got two good ones for you. So the first dad joke, we always got to have a laugh here on a fun Fridays, is why, I'm sorry, not why, what did the janitor say when he jumped out of the closet? Supplies. There you go. So the janitor just got to say supplies, guys. Come on, fellas. So that's a good one to say around the dinner table tonight. Number two, why do seagulls fly over the sea? Because if they flew over the bay, they would be bagels. <laughs> there you go. So let us know, fellas, which one you like best. Uh, number one, what did the janitor say when he jumped out of the closet? That would be supplies. Number two, what do seagulls, why do flea goats, geez, Louise, let's try it again. Why do seagulls fly over to sea because they flew over to bay, they be bagels. So there you go, fellas. Again, remember, eye rolls totally counts when it comes to the world of dad jokes. And if you have a dad joke that we should use and we haven't pull, pulled it and used it yet, send it in. Okay, support at the line within us. Let us know what your dad jokes are. If we use it on the show, we'll give you a shout out. We'll also give you some free swag just to, and just to say thank you for taking the time to connect with us. So again, support at the line within us. Send me your dad jokes in. Okay. So now the question of the week this week, we've been talking about it all week, guys. What does the role, what role does hu humility play in your family life? And that's a hard one. Because it's not thinking less of yourself. It's just thinking of yourself less. That's humility, guys. And how is that showing up in your family life? Does your family see that? Does your spouse, do your children, do your, does your parents, all the, the grandparents, all that stuff out there, do they see this humility? Or is it all about you? 
because it's all about you. Maybe it needs, it's time to take a, take a minute, think, and do a true, because it's um, all about dive into to, to the way that you're leading and see if there's something I need to adjust or there's some things I need to consider in order to honor and glorify God better in my marriage, in my family, in the, around the ones that I love. So hopefully you guys enjoy that, fellas. So uh, hopefully, uh, again, thank you just for listening to The Line Within Us. Uh, just for, so encouraged by the support you guys show us each and every week. Uh, if you want to be a monthly donor, that'd be huge. Just go to the line us. You'll see a donate button there. You can support the show. But I'd really love to see you just jump in our community, start engaging with us on a regular basis. Uh, inside our community, we have stuff going literally every day of the week. We have something going on uh, nonstop between our, our just our standard lion lunches and our Bible studies to our, our discipleship mastermind groups, um, our couples night once a month. As we have lots and lots of ways that we engage with guys just to help them grow in their walk with Christ. So, fellas, thank you so much for listening. Come back on, mon on Monday. Good Lord willing, we'll have some more episodes out here for you. Hopefully just to encourage you, equip you, and just to be there with you in your walk as you grow to be the leader that God has called you to be. So thank you again. and just can't thank you enough for the support. And have a great weekend. So get out there and just keep unleashing the lion within. House cats, go ahead and skip this message. This is for the lions, because we know that the evil one is coming at you daily, trying to steal, kill, and destroy everything in your life. We recognize that you try to face each day with strength, determination, and purpose. But even the strongest need a brotherhood behind them. At The Lion Within Us, we created an online Christian's men community where we can grow connect, and strengthen your walk with God. It's more than just a community. It truly is a brotherhood. Be warned, this is not for the faint-hearted. This is where you push your limits, growing stronger in your faith, and rising above the ordinary. Here, we challenge you to become the leader God intends you to be. The time to act is now, and your 30-day free trial is waiting. No excuses. No delays. It's time to step up and join the community. Head over to thelionwithin.us. That's thelionwithin.us to get started today.